It's hot out there and the sun is shining bright, but don't let that sun slow you down. Introducing Shady Rays, your ultimate companion for every sunny adventure. With Shady Rays sunglasses, you'll enjoy unbeatable protection from harmful UV rays so you can focus on having fun under the sun. These premium sunglasses come with polarized lenses, cutting through glare and ensuring crystal clear vision wherever you go. Whether you're hitting the beach, hiking in the mountains, or simply strolling through the city, Shady Rays will keep you looking stylish while keeping your eyes protected. Every pair of Shady Rays sunglasses feature their signature lost and broken protection. So if you lose or break your pair for any reason, they'll replace them. And the best part, with our special code, enjoy $20 off your first purchase. So what are you waiting for? Head to shady.themanspacepodcast.com. That's shady.themanspacepodcast.com and pick out your perfect pair of shades. Sunglasses aren't meant to be loved. They're meant to be lived in. And with Shady Rays, your sunny days just got brighter. Thank you, Voice Girl, and welcome once again to another edition of the Man Space Podcast. Now, this is the voice of Russ, and with me, as always, is my co-host, who is still waiting for Flavor Flav's rendition of the national anthem to end, the one and only <laughs> Big Les. <laughs> no, I would have had some real smart to say and been prepared for that one. <laughs> However, I, I I ain't got nothing for you, man. <laughs> Good one. Good one. I is. see what you did there. You see that? You see that? <laughs> I see what you did there. Boy, word play. I ain't even in public enemy. <laughs> but I am one. <laughs> What's up, big dog? I'm hanging in there, man. I'm hanging in there. Yeah. See, I, I, I'm rocking the hat today I pre- because I see my, it. My, I see it. my favorite football team, the Carolina Panthers, Ooh. and my favorite basketball team as of today, as we're recording, October 31st, Halloween night, both have the same amount of wins. One. One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, all you need is one. To go but from there. <laughs> that's a building block, right? It's a it's building like, block. A building hey, is built. You, you building can't is... get to two until you get to one. So that's we, right. we're both. The Charlotte Hornets, the Carolina Panthers, they both got one win. And and, and we're going from there. Well, you got two bricks in your wall now. You just need a few more. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it, man. I can't talk too much of trash. But I'm, I'm in there, though. I'm in there. Yeah, he, Hey, y- y'all looking good. Y'all looking good. We- I'm not going to play the sounder. Don't play it. I'm not, not going to play it. But y'all Don't looking play. good. We're going to the playoffs. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I said Super Bowl, <laughs> but we're going to the playoffs. So, yeah, yeah, you, you know, you know, I'm I'm petty. Oh, Lord. I, I'm seriously Super petty. Super petty. Yeah. Yeah. So, a few weeks ago. hmm my, you see my A over in the corner, the Alabama I, I, Crimson Tide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we played the University of Tennessee, mm. and we got a victory over the University of Tennessee. Mm-hmm. And one year ago, they snapped a streak that had been going since I believe two thousand seven, mm-hmm. where they finally beat us last year. Yeah, my nephew at the time was ten years old. <laughs> and he is a Tennessee Volunteers fan. Oh he, no! He roots for Tennessee because he was born in the state of Tennessee. Cool. I get the logic. I I you know used to follow that same logic as well, right? But I get it. Yeah. You know, root for your team. Mm, mm, they mm, beat mm. us 
And all of a sudden, I get a text message out of the blue. Oh, no. Oh, talk ha, to ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Your team sucks. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, no. I waited 365 days. To respond. To respond back <laughs> to that text. I am I am so petty to argue he's 11 That's... now to sit there and trash talk an 11 year old yes I am petty you... I am that low that is three that is 65 I waited just to send back to him. That is a uh, that's a long your period. Team sucks. That is a long period of pettiness. I hold on to stuff. Bro. Yeah, we know. But still, <laughs> that's your nephew. <laughs> pettiness at its best. At its best. Wait till you do something again. It's gonna be twenty one. You going wait? You gonna wait till he's twenty one and hit him with something? You gonna hold on to something for ten years? Hey, you hey, would. You if, would. If it, I would be just that person to do it. Yeah. You would. Yeah, I would. I, would, I really would. I got a small streak. I ain't got it that bad. I can't wait three sixty five. <laughs> I got, I got a little. Streak. Hey, I couldn't I, do nothing until we won. I got a little streak. Uh, I, yeah, that's okay. Woo, that's a lot. Man Space Nation, you know, I have a question that I need to ask Les, but I want to bring on our guest so he can be a part of this question as well. So, ladies and gentlemen of the Man Space Nation, I'd like to introduce you to a man that's joining us for the very first time. He's a distinguished authority in relationships and is committed mm. to helping individuals form meaningful connections. He combines over 40 years of experience offering trusted relationship advice. Whether you're navigating dating complexities or, or just trying to strengthen your existing partnership, our guest is an expert to help you guide toward an enduring affection relationships. And he also just released his very first book, which you can find on Amazon. It is entitled, I'm in your head, your thoughts are holding you back. Manspace Nation, give up round of applause to our guest, Mr. Reginald Meshack. Come on, man, Space yeah. Nation. Good afternoon, fellas. Hey, 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 what's going on? Right. Your, your, your one win for your football team uh -huh. came over my team. Yes, so it I did. I heard you talking about it. And oh, I was pulling real hard this past <laughs> Sunday to make sure that that did not happen. So, right. when you give a team that many opportunities, mm -hmm. they've got to win. That's right. Sooner or later. That's so right. I'm, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank yes. you. I yes. appreciate that. Yes. I ain't going to go there. I appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> but, you, but, but they will come back to Houston one day, and I'm a whole mind until then. Uh oh, don't tell All me. Right. <laughs> don't tell me you petty Eddie, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna hold that pettiness. Yes, okay. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Yeah, okay. see, there it is. So, so fellas, What's I, I got a question. Have you guys seen this video that's been going on where the woman did not want to get out of the car <laughs> when her date took her to the Cheesecake Factory? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Uh. I know you know. I know you know my response already. Yes, I know. I, you. I, I, I know you know my response. I, I, I saw it, and mm -hmm. I just couldn't get over it for reasons why. I'm wondering why did he not decide to talk about this before he took her there? But since they were there, wouldn't it have been beautiful if he would have given her the options? that she had available, you could have said, you know what? I'm going to buy you an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> and left it like that. <laughs> yeah. I, you know what? You said it in a more elegant way than I would have probably said it. He at least <laughs> took her home. He did take her home. He took, he her, took her home. home. I, I think more so than the Cheesecake Factory stuff, because 
I'm one. I'm not a big fan of Cheesecake Factory. I'll go there for the cheesecake, but mm -hmm. you know, I, there's nothing that I've tried on the menu that I can just just sit there and say, "Man, that's just so good that I'm going back for." But see, right? I don't. Even think it, it wasn't even about that though. Right. Yeah. It wasn't about that. But yeah. but for her, when she sat down in the car and she's like this, uh -huh. talking to her social media followers the yes. whole time. Yeah. I would have turned that around right then. And 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 then on top of it, my man said that he waited an hour <laughs> for her downstairs uh -huh. at his car uh -huh. waiting for her to get ready. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I I don't care how good looking this woman may may be. I'm out. I'm out. Amen. <laughs> She's she's not gonna. She don't let him in the house. She don't need check to see if he need any water. She don't call him on the phone to talk to him while she getting ready. Nah, I, I, I'm out. I, I can't do it. How does the song say to the left? There you go. <laughs> My, mine would have been like our uh, cologne commercial. Skeet skirt, skeet skirt. <laughs> I'd, have been, I'd, have, I'd have been the tires on my, on my car as I'm skeeting and skirting up out of the parking lot at our apartment. You but, know. You now, mean? have you seen that women have gotten together and put a whole list of restaurants now or, or places that you can't take them on a first date? Uh, man, I saw that list, man. And, and Cheesecake Factory is listed on here as number one of of all the things on it. Cheesecake but Factory the, is number. They one. got Applebee's and Chili's and bro, Fridays. I went to, I went to Chili I, Sunday. I, come on, I'm bro. Sorry. <laughs> hey, I, I call no, that no, writing the rules. You, right, you, you write the rules, and you agree with the rules. Then you're fine. If you don't agree with the rules. Don't play the game. Don't play the game. Absolutely. So, uh, up front. Okay. I, yes. I get it. Right. Like, but it's a first date, though, bro. It's a first date. But hey, yeah. you know, you're trying to impress a lady. But at the same time, you know, see, I see it differently. You, I've already impressed her because she's going with me. Mm. <laughs> so you going to McDonald's. <laughs> I'm a, you going to go where I go. Mm -hmm. Unless we and if, determine if, something different. So if if she she would have said, um, hey, I I have certain certain allergies or something like that, or mm -hmm. you would have you would have been different. like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's different. But it right. seemed like that would have been a conversation up front. Would you have sat there before you ever picked her up and said, Hey, um, where yeah. would you like to go? Do you no, have an idea? I'm not I'm not gonna ask where would you like to go. I was saying I was thinking of let's meet at this place where I can pick you up and we can go to this place. Okay. I'm he more or less made reservations. Yeah, at I'm the more cheesecake of a take, factory. I'm more of a take kind of charge. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Because here's the yeah. I was always taught this: if you give somebody an option, be mm -hmm. prepared for their choice mm -hmm. and not necessarily yours. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. So I'm if my man is, I mean, cheesecake is really not that cheap. I mean, it is cheap, but it's really not that cheap. I mean, mm -hmm. anywhere you go now, it's going to be a hundred dollars. It's going to be a hundred dollars easily in, yeah. in anywhere. So yeah. you could fit a whole lot of restaurants under that umbrella. Mm -hmm. And who's paying? <laughs> exactly. Right. Who, who's That's paying? Me. It will be so a chain restaurant. Those that have not seen this list, <laughs> number one on the list was Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Two Factory. was Applebee's. Three was Chili's. Right. Four was Chipotle. Right. Five was the that. Olive Garden. Okay. Okay. Six was the movies. Mm -hmm. The movies? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I would probably still do a movie. I mean, oh, yeah. a movie and oh, dinner, but yeah. I, I mean, that's both of those are combined. Right. A movie and dinner. A movie and right? dinner, yes. Yeah. 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 Your yeah. house. Okay. okay, I get that. You know, you ain't coming to the house for the first date. I don't know your levels are crazy. Yeah. So Absolutely. you can't come to the house. Any fast food chain. Wait, wait, okay. wait. Back up one. It depends on the person. Yes, really? Is, is Chick-fil-A Chick -fil on the rules? They should be, uh, off, hey, they should be on there, too. At they're, the time. They're, they're part of the fast food chain. Okay, yeah. okay. Buffalo Wild Wings. 
They got Wingstop on here. Now, oh I don't know what. Oh, wow. There's nowhere to sit. I've never been to a Wingstop where you that's can sit down. Cause you, that's because you take them home. <laughs> <laughs> they taste better at home. <laughs> yeah, they do. Right. Well, Red okay. Lobster. A buffet. Okay. Okay. Right. No. Nope. Yeah. So okay. That, yeah. That, yeah. Okay. We're with that one. IHOP, Denny's, mm. the gym. Mm. Okay. They, they they there's actually guys that tried to take women to the gym on the first date. Well, you you got to treat them how you meet them, right? Maybe she works out. Yeah. <laughs> Sixteen was church. I'm surprised that's not higher on the list. <laughs> Starbucks. Mm. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with Starbucks, especially if because you can go and sit. I yeah. mean, that's uh-huh. that I forces mean, you to have one. communication. Yeah, you know, and that's what I've a lot done of that one. We've sat down, yeah. had a whole conversation, the whole monologue, just to get to know each other, right? Yeah, right. absolutely. You know? right. Right. Yeah. I mean, because it's it's one of those things that it, it allows you to focus on the other person mm-hmm. because you're not sitting there stuffing your face. All you got is a cup. Uh-huh. And now you got to lock eyes and right. communicate with the other person. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Ice cream dates. Come on now. OK. Family functions. No, I'm not bringing you around the family. No. They talking about movie night. That's already included in your house. Mm hmm. Somewhere that requires a long drive, nah. Nah, I'm straight with nah. that too. That's out. I don't know you like that. <laughs> Bowling, okay, I can understand. <laughs> Woman's got yeah. her nails done. Maybe she <laughs> nails. She, yeah, she's not gonna put her nails in the bowling ball. <laughs> you know? Hey, hey, you never know. It might only take that too. She's swinging that hook, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? She might be throwing that hook. You know, she's like, hold on, can I bring my own ball? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Grandpa, uh, how did you meet Grandma? Oh, she yeah. had that nasty hook on she that ball, that boy. Like, uh, <laughs> and she left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! All right, go ahead. Nightclubs, a yeah, hookah yeah. bar, hookah, okay. hookah, oh, no. whatever. Yeah, not hookah. <laughs> <laughs> And most time, hey, hold on now, or a bar just for drinks. I that list is growing, I, man. The list, the list is growing. I can, yes, but it's it's, it's it's like this. I can see it so all much depends stuff on your levels, right? Yeah, yeah, I it agree depends on your levels, right? Because right. hey, you know, me at twenty. 21, 22, yeah, ain't making yeah. the money that I am now. Yeah. 21, 22 yeah. year old, yeah. you know, Cheesecake Factory might be high style living right there. That wasn't you on know, the books, bro. That you know, wasn't right. on the books. Hey, right. Applebee's, Red Lobster, Red Lobster, Lobster. Lobster. That, yeah. was, that was quality stuff. Mm-hmm. And that would be at the top of the book. That's right. You know, when you 2021, 20, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? I get it to a 40 something, 40 and right. above man, and you're established and Right, right. You have certain things. Mm-hmm. There's certain places that I just wouldn't eat at anyway. Anyway, yeah, yeah. you know. So, yeah. I I'm like this for me, and and the way I am now, right? Mm-hmm. I'll do like you know, chilies and Applebee's and stuff like that. It's not something that's on a regular. It's like okay, it's something different. It's something we haven't done in a while, you know. But a, I'm a married man. So, you know, me and my wife going there, it's not a big deal. Like I said, we just went to Chili's on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Wasn't yeah. a big deal. Them Southwest egg rolls were... were they they quite, beastie. They beastie. They were quite they, tasty. They, they beastie. But, you know, on, on a first date level, no. I mean, mm-hmm. I would try some... I really would go places that I normally wouldn't go. Like, I would go, like, you know... I like a Harper's or something like that, you know, something that wasn't readily available on every other corner. Well, see, I you think know? I would open that up to some discussion. Really? I would like to see but, what she likes. But versus at, at, what like I you like. said, you said it was the take charge type of person, you yeah. know? Yeah. I, you, I would sit there and find out like, okay, are you vegetarian? Do you have any type of diet restrictions? You know, cause I, I remember, uh, I sat there and cooked the whole meal for a lady and found out that, oh, uh, she's allergic to pork. I'm like, oh, dang, mm. I got these pork chops all nice mm. and tender. And I'm like, hey, 
Mo you for know. me, baby. Uh, Mo for me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go get you some chicken wings from Popeyes. You know. What I'm <laughs> but have you seen that the men have come up with the response to this now? Oh Lord, I know. Oh my goodness, goodness. the men. So okay, let's do it. So let's okay, do it. Let's... So the men have come up with a list of the types of women that men shouldn't date. Period. Okay, oh, that's oh, good. That's oh. good. Oh, so this number one on the list. All right, was single mothers. Single mothers. I single knew mothers. it. I knew it. Once you cross a certain point, <laughs> that that talent pool gets less and less. <laughs> right. So, well, you call it a bad experience. <laughs> yeah, that that's a little hard to find. Yeah. Number mm. two on the list: a woman with a lot of tattoos. Mm. Well, maybe if you got tattoos, that's okay. It may be appealing. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. appealing to some. It's maybe, appealing to maybe some. Maybe that might be the attraction. Mm -hmm. Women who dress provocatively. Let's go for it in our 20s. <laughs> <laughs> now, remember, everybody else is going to be looking, too. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know what they're thinking. <laughs> Mm -hmm. how, how did this guy get this girl? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. So oh, uh, man. A, a, a certain type of worker or street worker uh -huh. to include uh, <laughs> porno stars uh -huh. or strippers. <laughs> Everybody has a pass. <laughs> hey, you either meet them at 20 or 40. I mean, <laughs> right. hey, the pool is getting left did, now. <laughs> did you did you see just recently there I'm was sorry, a, a, this guy's wife? And he's a former. I can't think of the basketball players. Name. Oh yeah, and his wife but, has an OnlyFans. Yes, yes. His ah. wife, his wife was a stripper. Oh my god, and worked in that kind. Did some okay. did in some work field. back in the day. Did he know about yeah. it? He knew about all that he when he married her. Okay, okay. Right? He but but he upgraded her life okay. with his basketball career, took her okay. out of that. Okay. Right? Mm. But then mm. found out that she's got an OnlyFans page, right? Mm. Oh, my She's goodness. like, hey, it's helping hey. me, you know, pay some yeah. stuff, you know, it's helping me yeah. with some income. I'm not hurting you. But <laughs> she's, and she made a comment in the videos, right? Like she, she's the one recording this and putting this on the social media, not yes. him. And mm. she said, "I'm by myself in these things." Ah, uh, yeah. I, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I don't. Uh, I'm a, I'm a private person, and I, I share a mm. lot of stuff with our Man Space Nation. But I'm a private person when it comes to certain things, and I just would not want to be coming home to my woman's goodies being exposed to everybody across the world. No, no, no. I, I, I can't. No, I can't do it. I. Mm. I that's draw the line. That's not a. That's not about me being insecure or anything like that. That's just no. I no. don't want that in my life. Uh -huh. And and I just you got to be careful what you wish for, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I've I've learned that in my life. You have to be yeah. very careful what you wish for because you know, as men, we say we want this and we want that. Mm -hmm. We want a woman to do this and a woman can right. do that. You get it, and you, you find it. out. You find right. out that ain't yeah. really what you want. That, that's right. Yeah. You're right. You know, and uh, he got it, mm -hmm. and he, he quickly it. finding out, right? Yeah. <laughs> ain't what he wants. <laughs> and so I'm a true believer in you. Better be very careful in what you ask for. Uh -huh. because, Absolutely, because yeah. you will get it. Yeah. It'll show up. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it will. Ooh, so, boy. so to continue on this list, yeah, yeah, Instagram models. That that's tough because you see all the, I keep seeing these stories of <laughs> these basketball players and and athletes and stuff like that sliding into these girls' DMs. Okay, but Is still, it, yeah, but uh, let's just be honest, right? Let's just be honest. If if that's the lifestyle she was living when you living. got involved with her, right? You don't have too much of a choice but to accept it, mm -hmm. right? Or not be involved with it. The, right. That that ball is in your court, you know. Yeah. Now this one, this one was funny to me. 
women with purple hair. Hey, hold on now. Here. If it's Riri, I'm all in. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> Purple hair. I'll take purple Riri. Hair. Riri got purple, green, yellow, <laughs> psychedelic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> women with large social media followings. Mm. Women with promiscuous friends. Yeah, that go both mm. ways. That's, yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> women okay. who travel alone regularly. Mm-mm. Passport yeah. sister. Mm. Right, women that drink a lot. Hey that man, ain't, ain't nothing wrong. I, I, no, no, it's not I, nothing wrong with the drinking. Yeah, it, hey, if but you, you said a lot, a little bit, but a yeah. lot. If there's if there's some issues, you uh-huh. know, that it, it yeah, could be some. Well, you know, you know, hey, that's my, that's when the groove can come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really Maybe. get to understand them, then. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Hey, because I tell you that the, the two most truthful people in the world, yeah. babies and drunks. And the drunks. And babies yeah. and drunks, huh? <laughs> That's it. What you say, alcohol talks? <laughs> That's it. Right. Alcohol and right. babies. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Hey, won't shit. Women up. without fathers. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. That yeah. one, I that think one. that could go both ways. Yeah. I think that could go. That, that's a little. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's the most 50 50. Hey, that, that pool. Communication with everybody. Yeah. That pool just went yeah. way low. Way low. Way you, low. You, you, you done probably cut this, this dating pool down to <laughs> yeah. down under half at this point. What's you know, left? Just with everything <laughs> that we I was about right. to say, whatever else you don't <laughs> <What's> want. What's left? <laughs> right. <laughs> they mamas, whoever right. made this list. That's what they got Wow. Left. <laughs> Women who party every weekend. Yeah. Women who are previously married <laughs> says plus sized unhealthy women, okay. women on uh, dating apps. Okay, and and then okay, and and they were just kind of repeating divorcees. I'm like, come on now. I mean, that's come ninety. That's ninety five percent of the pool that these young men have to yeah. choose. Right, and, and, unless you unless you picking them off twenty five and under. It's that pool is. is I, I wouldn't even high. say that. Right. I mean, you had a bunch of your single mothers are in that 20, that 19 right. yeah. to 25, it's, right? Yeah, that's true. Maybe 10% now. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you, we down to like 10%. Yes. Of easily. the population. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. You got to keep looking a long time. Hey, but what they didn't say was married women. Oh. Ah. Okay. Oh. Ah. Mm. What they didn't say was married women who, who wanted to be what single. To say, hide your kids, hide your wife. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> who hadn't given up the players' card yet? Yeah, right. That's it, yep. right there. That's the one. Yep. Man, mm. but I, I guess they still on they still on the uh, meat market, man. <laughs> right. Fun. So there, there's one more thing that I, I want to put out here and just kind of get your guys' opinion on it. There was a woman who put on social media that a man must pay a five hundred dollar fee. No, no, to date her. No, should be automatically a no. Absolutely, yes. Like even if if money was no object, you're Elon Musk type of money. No, you you would not even try to go out with her. Not even just to see what it was about. Did she get a date? I don't know. I, 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 <laughs> oh, it's some I, thirsty rich cats well, out here. Okay, but I'm I'm just gonna say this. I mean, I made, it, I'm it, not gonna say that. Because, I'm not gonna go there. I'm hey, go they on. they just talked about it on the list. I mean, certain type of workers, the street workers. I mean, if they're they're paying for it one way or the other, mm-hmm. you know, if it's a five hundred dollar fee, hey, maybe dude could have got to the cheesecake factory if he just went ahead and paid the five hundred dollars up front. He could have got the cheesecake factory. <laughs> I mean. I mean I mean, oh my God! I have a whole nother philosophy. Yeah, I have a whole yeah. nother thought process behind yeah, this. Really, I'm yeah, gonna really I'm, leave this one alone because yeah. because <laughs> I don't understand. I I just I just don't understand it. How how if you're a rich man, how you get caught? I don't understand mm-hmm. that piece. If you're a rich man and you really want to do these type of things, right? How right. do you get caught? How do you get caught? You got yeah. money. You got money. Yeah. 
People talk no matter what, man. With Listen, social media, man, people put stuff out there. Man, let me tell you something. You go down to the hood in any, any, any state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got some chicks down there that's holding brothers down for dime bags of weed. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. And ain't no, telling no nobody their business. I don't mm -hmm. know nothing. Mm -hmm. I said, <laughs> I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. Hold on. Let me turn my camera off. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm just saying. I don't know nothing. Other uh -huh. than these are, some, these are some things. I'm a, I'm a worldly brother, right? I, uh -huh. I, I, I've, I've seen That's it. <laughs> I've seen and heard many things in, yes. in, in small, dark corners and you know, under bright lights. Uh -huh. However... All I'm going to say is, if you if you had a right one, you ain't never got to worry about it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Whether well, see, it's, hey, whether, whether it's may, $5, maybe, $5 or $50,000. Hey, well, right. maybe if the guys would have actually went off the list. They... $500, huh? Mm, $500 for a day. Mm. So I mean, I, that's, I saw, so she I saw a, a guy. I saw a guy coming out, and he said, are all women prostitutes? And she said, no. He said, if I sit there and I pay for you to meet me or I dr spend my money to go pick you up, to take you out, I pay for the dinner. It's it's the same thing as me not just to try to get some to impress you. It's the same thing as me just giving you the money straight. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But I bet you she said, no, you're paying for yeah. You're paying well, for you're you're yeah. paying oh, for her yeah. time. Yeah. Well, the, the women he asked, yeah. he, he shut both of them up because they both were confused. But but you are you are correct in that. Mm -hmm. It's the time. The time. Mm -hmm. Right. The time. You yeah. it yeah. it's it's yeah. it's more than just trying to uh -huh. to notch the bedpost. To, it's, yeah, uh, to bed them. Right. It's, it's more for your time. time. But here's my right. thing: if I'm a rich man, my time is way more valuable than that. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you yeah. owe me money right. for my time. That's right. <laughs> you should be paying me to take you on a date. Right. But you, you know? don't have the gifts that she has. That is uh -oh. absolutely true. Uh -oh. That is true. That's true. But I can buy them. <laughs> That's buy the them. whole thing. Buy them. <laughs> this is a business <laughs> transaction. You know what I mean? I'm gonna write you a receipt, lady. You can file this on your tax. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. You got, a, you got a 1099. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're gonna dig our way out of this one. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, I'm just gonna start walking around with oh, 1099s. Wow. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, Fill that out. Oh man. Oh man, it's crazy this. So we have the Man Space Game Show by many requests. It's time for us to bring it back. Okay. And here right. on the Man Space Game Show, our guest competes in a trivia game against my co-host Les. Uh -huh. So what okay. happens is okay. we surveyed a hundred people, uh -huh. <laughs> and in those hundred people, a question was asked. Oh. One of you, whichever one I direct the question to, has to guess the percentage of how many people actually did whatever the question was being asked. Okay, the we don't other one low. of you will guess higher or lower you go. than All that right. percentage. Okay, this best three out of five wins the game. Okay, all right. I don't know. Oh, Reginald wow. looked kind of smart, man. <laughs> I don't so, know. Hey, you, got, you got general on your shirt, so hey, and that, stars. Just, that just means I command my army. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know the answer to the question. No, <laughs> he does not know. No, trust me. And this and and wait, they're stacked against me. Trust me. <laughs> You know, these are easy. Another game, huh? No, these are easy. All right, all right. Okay. All right. Well, our, our guess so, will go first. Okay. First question goes to you, Reginald. All right. We asked 100 people, "Do you sing in the shower?" 
How many said yes? I'm going to say at least 50% of the people say they sing in the shower because that is a comfortable place. And because it's a comfortable place, you can mess up. You don't even have to hold a tune. You don't have to carry yeah. a bucket of water because you don't have to concern yourself about nobody being around you. So I'm going to go with 50%. Yeah, most of the time you're in there by yourself. That's he right. That, he made that yeah. so much easier for me. Yeah. Higher. I'm going you higher going than higher? 50%. Okay. Less, you will be wrong. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> One point for Reginald, 45, 45%. said oh that okay. they actually sing in That's the shower. The, those are the ones that had admitted. Admit it. Yeah, those are the ones that admit it. <laughs> yes. They don't they won't they're not gonna admit that they don't use soap either though. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> or don't don't watch just let the, the soap just run down and, right and, 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 yes. and, 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 and hit the legs I'm, instead of yeah. actually washing I'm, the legs off. I'm clean. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, All right. come right. on with it. I gotta All I right. gotta redeem it. Come on. All right. All okay, right. Reginald's up one nothing. All right. Question goes to to Les here. Yeah, yeah. All right. We asked 100 millionaires across mm. the country. Was your father also a millionaire? How many said yes, that their father was also a millionaire? 58%. Mm, 58%. Okay. So hand me down money. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Let's. I'm gonna have to go with a lower number than that. I'm gonna say 35. percent You might be right. Probably about 28. But go ahead with it, Reginald. You are correct. Mm -hmm. Reginald's up two to nothing. But what's the what's what's, what's, what's the, the what's answer? the percentage? 21. 21. Okay. Yeah. 21. I actually, my said first mind. Yeah. That their father was also a millionaire. Les, who's, your football, up to, who's your football team, Les? Detroit Lions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a gambling man. There you go. <laughs> I'm going there. I know you are. Right. I know it. So at this point, Reginald, you're up two to nothing. You got a chance to close this game out with a clean sweep for the first time ever. On the Man Space podcast, nobody's ever beat me. Nobody has ever clean sweeped them. Oh my goodness! Not every. Oh, oh no. my goodness! I'm going for this one. I think I got beat once. Huh? How many times I get beat, Russ? You've been beaten once in this. That's it. I've been beaten once. Okay. All right. We asked 100 single women. Mm -hmm. Do zodiac signs influence your dating decisions? How many said they do influence their dating decisions? Mm, no pressure. I'm going to go 75%. Woo! Mm. Mm. Woo! Less, higher or lower than 75%. Ooh, lower. Less. You are wrong. Ah, clean sweep. <laughs> he clean sweeped him. <laughs> Les, I didn't tell you that um, I won a lot of games from, t uh, from actually people and their ages. I yeah. was able to predict their age. So, yeah. oh, so this was a setup. Games. I've been practicing at this for a while. So, so this is a setup. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so now we need yeah. to go to a different game. Do we need to go to a different <laughs> game? So now you've lost the twice. Clean sweep yeah. is in. Hey, but you <laughs> know what? First though? time ever. I, I'm okay with losing to you, Reginald. I'm okay. okay. I'm okay with that. That other <laughs> joker, I don't think I was too happy about. <laughs> but, uh, but but you are right, man. I like I like you. You humble everything, and and, and see. You came clean with it. That other one probably got, he probably paid Russ to give him the answers. Uh, you know? Yeah. Well, on uh, that, while you, while you spoke <laughs> a little bit, we're going to take a break. 
<laughs> and come back and reset I, with I, more I think, of the Man Space podcast. I think he was from Chicago, too. Okay. All right, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> your pants. All right, so Reginald. Yes, sir. Since, since you beat me, I'm gonna lead off this second okay. half in the questions. Okay. okay. And I'm gonna try to be nice to you. Okay. Nah, I, I'm not gonna be nice to you. You I, I can't help it. I gotta be nice to you because you know you're you're good, you're a good dude. Okay. So Reginald, your book, I'm in your head. What was the motivation behind writing this book and who is the target audience? Well, when I realized I needed to do this. Mm -hmm. um, I had to go back to my diary okay. and I've been keeping a diary for almost 40 plus years. Mm. And in my diary, I could see my life mm -hmm. played out and I could watch the movies because I'm a private person. Right. right. And what private people do is they put down their private thoughts Mm -hmm. And so me putting down my private thoughts, I always would put down relationships that I've been involved in. Mm -hmm. And so I saw myself in a situation where I really could actually help people because I kept seeing how I kept making mistakes after mm -hmm. mistakes. So it became an easy process. And one day it was back in july mm -hmm. i was sitting here at the house and it hit me it's your time reggie mm -hmm. it's your time to finally put this together so i opened the diary mm -hmm. and then i started to say to myself what can i do how can i do this mm -hmm. and then i realized that in my diary i had made this statement who am i what am I supposed to do? Why am I here? What can I do? And then I started to realize if I answer these questions, this would be a very easy process to do. Right. And as I answered the questions, it made me realize this is not difficult mm -hmm. because I've already been through this and I've seen so many things in relationships and then I realized one of my things were I had some imbalanced traits. Mm -hmm. And so with me having those imbalanced traits, I was not afraid to actually look at it and say to myself, I need to come up with a plan to fix my imbalanced traits. So here I was thinking that I can do this. And, and what happened was being working for corporate america mm -hmm. corporate america makes you solve problems mm -hmm. that's why they pay us that's right so so now i'm saying you know what this is an opportunity because what happens is they will not allow you to not fix their problems that's right that's what they do and so here i was going like okay let me use this same model that happens in corporate America. You mm -hmm. have a problem. It's an opportunity. Right. You have to come up with a fix. Then you have to put that fix to make it a solution. Mm -hmm. And then you come back and all of a sudden they want to know what was the real reason for this problem to actually happen. Mm -hmm. So I took that model and I said to myself, okay, if I build this book based on this model, it would be very easy to put together. So what I did was I said, let me talk about how I came into this world. So, so what I did was I put a little bit of information in there because I wanted people to look at themselves and realize that they came from two people. Mm -hmm. That was the very first relationship that took place. Right. The second relationship is a mother with a child. Mm -hmm. So now the relationship is nine months long. Mm -hmm. And 
And all of a sudden, I'm saying to myself, we've always have been involved in a relationship. Yeah. But yeah. we don't define relationships as what we think they are, because anytime that you're in a relationship, it means that you are connected mm -hmm. and there's a link mm -hmm. and there is interaction. And so being thinking about this, I said to myself, now let me use this corporate model. And then all of a sudden I realized I started writing this book when I was 15 years old. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, I have a perfect opportunity to sit down with people who's 15 years old. And all of a sudden I met this 12 year old person who we were in a room. Mm -hmm. There was also a 17 year old person. There was a 19 year old person and there was a 21 year old person. And I said to myself, I want to see, can I communicate with these people? And I said to them, what's a relationship? Mm -hmm. They looked at me, they were in silence, and it was afraid to answer the question because they thought I wanted to know about their sex life. Mm. I said, no, this, is, this has got nothing to do with your sex life. I want to know what's your definition of relationship. Mm. And so when I started realizing, you know, there's an opportunity to reach people at all ages mm -hmm. right and then when you talk about it the audience gets to be larger and larger because every day mm -hmm. we are involved yeah. in a relationship so, so my yeah. audience is anybody who i come in contact with because mm -hmm. somehow there's a connection just like tonight there's a connection between us right and and that's why i said <clears throat> You know what? I, I love being around you guys because I see the interaction. Mm -hmm. And what happens is I see how you guys value each other. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so what happens in a great relationship is a person learns to value that person because they know that that person brings value to their life. Yeah. So to answer to your question, any and everybody, I feel that we ought to be able to talk about a relationship because a child, a kid who's going into their teens, they need to understand the importance of who you hang out with. Absolutely. And who right. you connect to. Mm -hmm. And if no one is teaching them or training them, there's an opportunity that has been missed. Right, so, right. so, so I've learned that corporate America was good. And so when I take these skills, all I do is try to pass these skills on to people to say that, you know what, you have the ability, you've got a head, mm -hmm. you've got mm -hmm. two ears, you've got two eyes. Why not think about what you can do in order to improve yourself? because you're going to be involved in a relationship. Mm. Mm. That's deep. That's, that's seriously deep. Yeah. You know, um, one of the things that when I talk to a lot of people and, and I've been blessed to be able to counsel some people over time. And one of the things that I notice a lot is them getting into their own heads and and their thought life is just not right they're not seeing things correctly what do you see as one of the biggest challenges that you've had uh to address from other people that you've had to counsel well the way i answer that question is i tell people that it's important that we have mentors mm -hmm. if you think of it the best thing that can happen to a person is to have two sets of eyes. Yes. Okay. When you got two sets of eyes, then when you get ready to put that program in, that's going to affect a thousand people mm -hmm. and two people look at this and they check and they check. You have a system of where you can check behind yourself. So, so I'm always telling people, 
you've got to find someone who is a good mentor, someone that you trust, yeah. someone that you value. And when you value that person, that person is always going to tell you the right thing to do. Now, mm -hmm. whether you choose to do it, that's completely up to you. But right. at least you will know, OK, let me let me let me reason, because see, someone who's a mentor is going to teach you to reason. Mm -hmm. You need like to that. have an ability to reason for yourself because you're not always going to be able to pick up the phone, but you have to be able to reason. I can't do this. And why can't I do this? So in other words, you're learning by someone teaching you their skills and passing their skills on to you. So, so having a mentor to me is a plus. And I've had, I've got great mentors even to now. Awesome. Awesome. So Reginald, you know, some people feel like the relationships are like riding on a cruise ship. You know, uh, at times you have waves and other times it's nice and smooth sailing. As long as long as you're hanging out in the waves, you're ultimately going to get to your destination. Um, what do you say is the biggest key uh, to having a long lasting relationship? Well, I will tell people over the years. I've come to one conclusion mm -hmm. uh, and I tell people, you don't, you do not have to do what I do, but I'll tell you that I always build my relationships on reciprocity. Mm. Yes, sir. Okay. And, <laughs> and when I say that, I say it with a great intent mm -hmm. because that is a conversation that can go on for hours mm -hmm. because when you build a relationship around reciprocity, I will say this, I learned it from work. Mm -hmm. You don't have to like me. You don't even have to love me, but <laughs> let's do this for each other. Let's make sure that we're sharing, mm -hmm. that we're right. giving and receiving because Russ will tell you, in the world that we were in, there was opportunities for people to have reciprocity right. that they just didn't have reciprocity and they yeah. want to hold on mm -hmm. to information and knowledge. And here you are sitting out feeling right. disappointed, hurt, mm -hmm. because someone else refuses to be involved in reciprocity. So, right. so that is my main thing about mm -hmm. being involved in a relationship. Now, when I say that, what happens is we can probably fix any kind of conflict because you're coming. Mm -hmm. The water is going to get deep. Mm -hmm. You're going to say one word that's going to send it left. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to go so left so quick until mm -hmm. you got to figure out, okay, how do I get this back to where it yeah, is. Right. How do you navigate and, that? And, and when you exactly. get reciprocity, you can pull this thing back together because you use what's in common mm -hmm. to bring things back to where they need to be. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I've done. I've learned that over the years now because I used I didn't used to do that because most people, you ask them what's the requirements of a relationship, they're going to say love. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, all right. I understand what you want. Mm -hmm. I but, say communicate. But but there's going to be somebody else who comes by and all of a sudden looks like I can love them a little bit better. Mm -hmm. You're seeing where I'm going at? And so okay. love, grass is not, not love, always green on the other side. Yeah, so love is it's important. Don't don't right. Me, absolutely. Don't out, but yeah. love will not suffice. When it mm -hmm. comes down to when it's all said and done. Mm -hmm. So, 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 but you can work through that. Right. Reciprocity. Mm. Wow. Mm. I was going to uh, ask you to leave us with an inspirational thought, but man, you just hit deep on that one right there. So <laughs> Reciprocity. Let me say it like this. I sh I'm yeah. sure that when 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 Tabitha is away, she's always thinking about you. 
Of and course, yes. You your way, you're always thinking about her. So so you got built in reciprocity, and you may not think about it as being reciprocity, but it's in place. And right. it's always been in place. And, and and what happened for me, I saw this with my wife and her sister. Mm -hmm. I promise you, we can go to any place, and my wife is always thinking about doing something for her sister. And I'm saying to myself, wow, I've never in my life thought about thinking about someone to that degree. But picking up the good things that you learn from people. Now, I always tell people, always try to learn one thing from a person, mm -hmm. either good or bad. OK, make the good a piece of gold. So in other words, Les, when I, when I see you, when I meet you for the next time, mm -hmm. my goal that I have for you is to remind you that I'm the brother. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see where I'm going? Yeah, 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 yeah. So now we are connected. Oh, yeah. And I value you because you got to come back to me and uh, request that I give you another chance. <laughs> so, so, so I'm at your mercy whenever you decide that you are ready for another chance yeah. to do this. Now, I wish I wouldn't have given away my secret, but... Yeah, because, you know, now I'll be really prepared for you. Yes, because my, I'm asking myself the question, what's your record? Your, your record is 40 and 2, 30 and... It's not, it's not, it's not that many. I, I think it's probably like 10 and 2 or something like that. 10, 10 and, and 2, two. Okay. yeah. All right, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so if we was in a rain boxing, mm. uh, mm. at least I could go mm. back into the corner and go like, she, this is going to be easy. <laughs> 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 Oh man! I don't know. I can get, I'm I'm like the comeback kid. You might think I'm down, <laughs> but I'm gonna get back up. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Might not be today. Well, let me ask you a question. You yeah. you, uh, you don't play golf, do you? I do. I well, let's say this. Bro, I I, uh -oh. I used to. Uh -huh. I haven't I haven't played in a few years. Listen, listen. So so when we meet, yeah, you gonna have to bring it with you. Okay. Because that'll right. be your second whooping. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it probably will. <laughs> I'm so gonna I'm, I'm going to give you strokes. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need a bunch of them. Okay. Some, some mulligans, too. Yes. <laughs> you get those. So, Reg. Yes. Let me ask you, how can the people follow you, find out more about your book and everything? Where can they get that information from? Um, Amazon, okay. go search on Reginald Jackson Meshack. Okay. That's the site for Amazon. Um, I have a webpage. It is Reginald Jackson And it's spelled R E G I N A L D J A C K S O N. M A Y S H A C K dot com. So I'm actually a relative of Michael Jackson. You see? Okay. No, I'm kidding. Okay. I huh? I had all types of smart remarks, but I, I'm not gonna. <laughs> hey, I gave see, a little humidity. See, that? see, see, Michael. Michael has done a, done me a big favor. Mm -hmm. Michael has allowed me to realize. That the man in the mirror. Mm. Mm, you see where I'm going? Mm -hmm. Yes. He mm -hmm. made me look at the man in the mirror doing this whole process of writing this book. That's and, good. And when you when you look at the words of those of that song, what you will find out is that Michael had to deal with an imbalanced trait. It's called mm. selfishness. Mm. I had the same issue that I'm dealing with with selfishness. Mm -hmm. So, so some for so for someone who's selfish, I can talk to you all day. 
Right. <laughs> because I understand what selfishness is, mm -hmm. what it does, and mm -hmm. what how it can destroy a relationship. Wow. It, wow. it definitely can. It that can has for sure. And it will. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. Eventually yep. it will. Yep. Man, and we are running long, so we're going to have to jump out of this episode, but we're going to have to get you back on again yeah. and talk Absolutely. some more. I mean, you we're going to we're going to extend the open invite for you. Just let us know when you're ready to hop back in here. And we'll we'll talk some more, man. We enjoyed uh, chewing, chewing the, the fat with you here a little bit. But I, I got one question for you as we get ready to go out the door. Okay. Oh, have you tried? A fluffer nutter. See, I I uh, know your country. Uh, I, <laughs> that ain't a country thing. You got you got to help me out. I, I'm, I, <laughs> oh. I, I need to I need to probably oh. go back to AI and ask AI whether that's something. Oh not, my goodness! This is, oh. this has gotten to be real deep. Hey, listen. Oh hey, no! Let's, help me out, Les. Look, 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 look. Huh? It's 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 a food. It's a food. Not, it's a food. It's a it's in a food group. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And so and he hits everybody with it. Okay. I'm so disappointed. Fluff or nutter uh -huh. is the marshmallow fluff. You know how they make the marshmallows, but they make it in a in a jar, like uh -huh. a peanut butter jar. It's just okay. the marshmallow fluff. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the that's the fluffer. Mm -hmm. The the nutter part is peanut butter. Mm. So you put the two together mm. in a sandwich, and it's called the fluffer nutter. Oh my! In a sandwich? In a sandwich. Yes. I said the same thing, and I got roped in to wow. this this rabbit hole that I ran down. I was doing it with brioche bread and toasting it, <laughs> and and I think I did it for a whole month. I just tried everything fluffer nutter. Oh my! Goodness. Marshmallow fluff. And peanut butter. Oh my goodness! And it's got to be the chunky peanut butter. Oh my goodness! And and yeah. I will say, it is not a bad treat. Okay, it is so good. It is how, so good. How, you have to however, get however the however. actual marshmallow fluff, not this craft. Don't jet get the yeah. Don't get the don't get that, the fake stuff. Get the that, real that, get marshmallow. Real, fluff. It's a real jar of marshmallow fluff. And okay. be prepared be for prepared. your be prepared because you whatever you stick in it. Ain't yeah. coming out easy. Mm. Mm. Bread gonna mm. get toe up. That's why I went with the thicker bread. You just can't put that on a normal little piece of white bread. Russ, where you, you know. where you learn this from? Man, uh -huh. you know I'm from Bama. Oh, Bama. I've, I've been doing this thing for a long time. I was about to say, time. I was about to say, you you got Bama. hey, he probably ain't telling nobody he used to put bananas on it too. Oh my Bruh, god. Let me it tell you. Look at, I that. Sure did. Look at that. See that? I sure See did. <laughs> oh hey. I, I did that a few weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> mm. That's that's his vegetable. That's oh, his wow. vegetable on top of it. Oh my god. Make it healthy. <laughs> yeah. But uh Bet you we it's, enjoyed it's you, an, man. It was in, it's interesting. So <laughs> enjoy it. Let us know how you like it. Let us know how you like it. I will. All right, man. Will. All right, man. Space Nation. We'll be back with more of the Matter of Fan Space Podcast. <laughs>
to build a more constructive and positive mindset. Now, as our guest today, Reginald Jackson Meshack said, your thoughts are holding you back. What an what a entertaining show today. It was a very entertaining show. Very entertaining yeah. show. Yeah. And, and, you know, and we talk about a lot of times with um, positive affirmations and things like that. Absolutely. And and Absolutely. one of the things, and I want to encourage people to go out there, go on Amazon and get his book or go to his website, uh, ReginaldJacksonMashak.com and click the link uh, on there because you'll see the link to buy the book from there. And, mm-hmm. and I, it's a very good read. So I encourage everybody to go out there and get that book because there's a lot in there that, you know, it's about your mindset, man. And and we talk about your mindset is everything. If you, you can actually physically make yourself sick with your mindset. Absolutely. You know, <laughs> but it's a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? Reginald Jackson and, made that. And I noticed uh, he's blogging on there too. So, you know, make sure you jump on the website and check out his blogs as too, because he's giving you some deep thoughts on there. Yeah, get the book. Yeah. I'm on there so, now. I'm about to yeah. I'm about to blaze them with some questions. There you go. <laughs> and on that note, man, Space Nation, we out of here. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Man Space. Whichever platform you listen to us on, make sure you subscribe and don't miss a show. Remember to keep up with all the Man Space updates on our website, themanspacepodcast.com. And you can follow us on Instagram at manspacenat1. Until next time, Man Space Nation, he's Les, I am Russ, and we are out of here. Breaking news. Man Space Nation, after a long wait, it's finally available. Fire by the Man Space. The new men's fragrance available now at shop.themanspacepodcast.com. That is shop.themanspacepodcast.com. Get it now while supplies last. All right, Les, let's finish up the show. Les. Les, Les, wake up, man. Sorry, man. I'm tired. I was up late last night. Here, here, try this. Bro, I'm not a coffee drinker. Trust me, man. You'll like it. Man, this is really good. Smooth, no bitter aftertaste either. What brand is this? It's Kairos Life's latest creation a Brazilian infrared roasted coffee. I really like this. Where can I get it? It's not sold in stores, but you can go to the shop section of the manspacepodcast.com and order yours today. Well, all right. I'm ordering mine now. Manspace Nation, don't miss out. Go to the shop section of the manspacepodcast.com and order yours right now.